What's up, Star Wars fans? My name is Prince, and I'm an urban acolyte. I want to talk to you guys about the most popular fan theories heading into Star Wars Episode Nine. So there's several of these, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into a series and release the videos one day at a time because I really want to have a conversation around each fan theory so that I can hear your feedback. So I'm not going to say too much more. I'm just going to let you guys hear this fan theory. Then I want to know what you think. The number one most popular fan theory heading into episode nine is that Rey killed her parents. So he says, when Kylo told Rey about her parents in The Last Jedi, he said they're dead in the Jakku desert. According to one Reddit poster, they died in the ship that little Ray watched leaving in the flashbacks and her dark side anger and sadness helped to pull it back down to the ground. She repressed it. Kylo wormed it out of her. And the resurfacing tragedy will be a big part of her battle to stay in the light. He says this one is plausible for a few reasons. I'm not even going to go over those reasons because, Paul, you're wrong. I just posted a video uh, well, actually, I debunked it live on Saturday. I took the video down, edited it, cleaned it up, and I just reposted it a few hours ago. And um, no, it doesn't make sense. If Ray pulled down a ship from the sky with Unkar Plutt watching, don't you think that he would then turn around and say, I've got a Jedi slave. One, I can sell her and make a whole lot of money. Or look, if this girl can rip ships out of the sky and bring them down that means i have the best enforcer ever if anybody tries to leave this planet and or, or, and and i don't want them to leave hey hey ray do your thing you know that thing bring them on down right are you are you you got to be kidding me man anybody who buys that you're not thinking man think critically like seriously you got a girl who who's 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 going star killer on people, pulling ships out of the sky and bringing them to the ground like Star Killer pulled the Star Destroyer down in the game. And she is unleashing the force as a child. And you think Unkar Plutt is going to let her go? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he did come come after her on Taco Donna, but he was coming after his ship, after the Millennium Falcon. At that point, he didn't care that Ray could fix stuff because she had all that mouth. She was too extra. She was too much to deal with. And he was like, look, man, it was I can, I could control you when you were a little girl. And I say, Ray, fix this. I'll give you two quarter portions, right? But now you big and you beating up on my thugs, right? Which is which a little uh, staff, your little metal staff that you set scavenged, right? And uh, I, I'm kind of I'm over you now. Like I can, hey man, I I can I can I I can get, hey man, I got fifty other scavengers and and, and you doing all the work, hey man. Like I don't I don't need you. You you too much of a headache, man. You too much trouble, right? But if 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 she's ripping star destroyers, ripping ships out of the sky, think about that now. I mean, first, like I said, because he's doing business with the First Order. Hey, man, I got this girl that's like some kind of Jedi or something. What what can y'all do for me, right? Hey, man, we want we. I, hey, I need I need some jacuzzis over here. Cause hey, dog, I'm on Jakku, man. Like. You can at least like you can at least drop off like 50 Twi'lek girls for this one little Jedi chick. 50 Twi'lek girls. All I'm asking for. I I'm trying to get freaky with the Leku. Right. Hey, man, even, even five. I'd be good with five. I'm a big man. But hey, man, even five. I, I prefer 50, you know, because I'm trying to hook up the homies. Right. Even uh, e even the little sheriff constable, dude, he be hating. But hey, man, I'll put him on to some game, too, for this one little Jedi girl. Be for real, man. I mean, I know I'm being silly right now, but be for real. Like, what would Unkar Plutt do? He's a hustler. You think he's going to let this girl just fly under the radar if he witnessed her doing that? And and if she did it, if y'all are literally interpreting, oh, well, she ripped the, the, the thing out of the sky and Unkar Plutt is pulling, quiet, girl, right? And she got left with him. He had to have seen it. So what? He's, oh, I'm going to keep it a secret. He ain't keeping it a secret. Be for real, man. Like, that—that that is a horrible theory. Likelihood, very, hey, 
I'll say maybe she did kill her parents. Well, no, I don't I don't even believe she killed her parents, right? Because why how would you block that out completely? She would know, right? Oh, she suddenly got in neat. If anything, Ray, this is this is where because you know, it's like uh I don't know. I, I guess I'm creative enough. I, I, I don't know why I don't do this because I could take some of these theories and like tell you within like not canon. But in somewhere in Star Wars lore, legends or somewhere where, oh, well, this happened. So why? just like I was talking to Vincent Vendetta and he was like, I think Ray's going to turn to the dark side at nine. I'm sitting here like, bro, I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. But we talked about it long enough and I was like, okay, here's how it could happen. If I were working on this, this is how I would do it. And it lines up with things we've seen. And he told me to do the video. Uh, his channel got shut down for copyright. Some, like they hit him with a bunch of copyright stuff out of nowhere and uh, shut down his channel. He's trying to get it back. But he told me to do the video. I didn't do it, but maybe I will uh, in December. Right. But uh, about how Ray could turn to the dark side and be out of the picture in episode nine when she's off kind of doing her own thing. Right. I still remember what I said. But my uh, so like Palpatine. In the Plagueis novel, Palpatine killed his whole family, right? He had like a meltdown. He, was, he had a meltdown, literally. And there he created like this maelstrom, like a storm inside the ship. And it was like people were like flying around and spinning around and heads blowing up and skeletons ripping out of the bodies. And it, like he just, I don't know what happened. He doesn't even know what happened. He just freaked out and lost control and 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 after like his dad talked bad to him and he killed his family and then he turned to Plagueis because Plagueis was playing and was manipulated him. He's like, I don't know what happened. I just I, I really don't know what happened. I just I, everything just went crazy and I, I just saw red. And then when I looked up, there was blood everywhere and and I didn't do anything. And it was like you did. You 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 tapped into the force. Right. The force is your ally. Right. The force is my ally, right? Actually, I think that's what Kylo Ren did. I think that's why I think something like that happened with little Ben. And that's when Leia was like, okay, you need to go train with Luke. I'm sorry. This whole pilot thing, Ben is not going to work out. You need to be trained because we can't have that. I think Ben did that. Uh, but let's say Ray had the same thing happen. She freaked her parents out and they're like, um, no, um, we're hurt. Um, no, we're leaving you here when you get this under control or maybe you forget about it. Right. Because children had when they first awaken in the force, they have no control um, and they, you know, crazy stuff happens. We got that in the Ahsoka Tano novel. Maybe Ray initially had her initial awakening as a young child the way the little kids do her parents got hurt and then since she had no one to train her she just kind of forgot about it um no one told her about the force i could see that happening i could see that as a reason why her parents abandoned her there on jakku right hey man you stay here we'll be back and they never came back right but her ripping the 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 ship out of the sky, that did not happen, right? So I'll say, hey, man, it's likely and maybe she did kill her parents, but it didn't happen that way. It would have been more like she had a very strong awakening in the force as a strong, ch as a strong child, as a young child, and it was an accident, right? And she forgot about her force ability. She forgot about the event. And I don't think it would have killed him. I just think it would have scared him. And that could be a reason why they abandoned him. If anything, I think we're going to find out why she was abandoned. Right. But at the same time, I think that's one of those things is more important to the audience than it is to the character's development. I don't think that's very important to raise character development. Right. And this is one of those things you're majoring in a minor. Right. Just like going into episode eight Everybody, would, well, who was Snoke? And I put out a video right before The Last Jedi came out, and I said, this is why Snoke is not that important. I don't remember what I said in the video exactly, but I remember saying, look, this is why Snoke is not that important. Look, this is why Ray's parents are not that important. Kylo Ren told you, the dark side doesn't lie. The dark side might manipulate, but it always tells you the truth. 
Ray went into that mirror cave. She turned to the dark side. The dark side told her exactly what she needed to know. Show me my parents. She saw herself. She saw two shadows come together as one, and it was her. You are your parents. You are the product of your parents. Wherever they are, it doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is who you are Move it, at this point right now and moving forward into your own story. Uh, that is that is what is important. Right. You, you don't you don't need to worry about that's in the past. You don't need to worry about it. You know where they are. You know what happened. You just need to accept what happened. And that's what Kylo Ren is telling her. Look, your, your parents, they were no one. Right. They sold you for drinking money and they're dead in a pauper's grave. That means that they were no if they were in a pauper's grave, they are no one. Right. Maybe they're not buried on Jakku. Maybe they did leave her and leave the planet. They're buried somewhere else in John Doe and Jane Doe graves. They're nobodies. Right. You have no part in this story, meaning you're not connected to anyone. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the choice you make right now and, and where you go as a result of that choice. Right. So um, that's really that's that's really it, man. It's it's not that important. Um, the the I I feel like uh, I feel like that with these fan theories, people are gonna be real disappointed with this sequel saga. They're gonna be real disappointed with episode nine, and it's not because JJ is gonna ruin the movie even more. They're ruining Star Wars. It's because people are focused on stuff that's not important. They're not focused on the actual story. The actual story is the First Order controls the galaxy. The rebellion has begun anew the jedi are trying to rebuild themselves and there's a girl she's got the ancient jedi text but she doesn't really know how to be a jedi she's got all the goods but she's got to figure it out herself finn has decided he's going to stay and fight for the resistance but he's got to figure out hey man all this stuff that i was taught by the first order now i actually have to display what i was taught i've got to be that person that uh, everything in writing says I am right. Poe's got to step up and, and lead the way a leader really has to lead. He can't think, Hey man, I'm just going to hop in my X wing and blow something up. He's got to really do it. Right. He's got to, he's got to learn the lessons that Leia has been trying to impart on her, on him, you know, and she's been in the fight since she was, you know, 14, 15, 16 years old. Right. So that that's really what we need to be focusing on. That's what we really need to be talking about. These fan theories are fun. I think I'm just going to have to start shooting them down and hope that my voice is loud enough to get across to the fandom. I don't have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, so y'all have to either share the stuff or, 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 or say, hey, man, this dude Prince has, has said that 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 that's not a well thought out theory. And this is what we really need to be focusing on. So I don't know. That's that's really all I got to say. Well, all right, guys. So you've heard the fan theory and you heard what I thought about it. But now I would like to hear from you. So what do you like? What do you not like? Do you buy it or do you not? So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I will be checking back to see what you all have to say, right? This is the start of the conversation. I want you guys to carry it on. And uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up based on what I see from you guys. So, like I said, comment below. I'll be checking back to see what you all have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, click that subscribe button, and take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story. And become a force for change in your community. Continue to support the channel. You can do that by checking out more videos from this channel. Like you can check out the latest fan theory in this series. Or you can check out some of my other videos on Star Wars Episode 9. But anyway, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing. And may the force of others be with you. Always.